So as someone who's dedicated a specific amount of time to the PlayStation 5, to the specifications, to all the stuff, and the hardware, you name it. I thought it was very interesting that I saw a video from Gamer Nexus. Now, Gamer Nexus put out a very questionable video when it came to comparing the PlayStation 5 to PC. Now, granted, these are PCs out the box, the PlayStation 5, and of course, the Xbox Series X, but there are certain aspects of going about this when it comes to uh, comparison-wise that need to be taken into question when we ever, you know, compare these systems. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and uh, play the video, what he had to say about the PlayStation 5, and then I'm going to go ahead and start the video and go straight into what I think. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. Yes, but nobody should be under the illusion that the PS5 is a top-tier gaming machine because that's just not true. It's an affordable living room box. It's equivalent in gaming performance to a mid- to high-end gaming PC from about five years ago. That's where this thing is. So, uh, Ray Trace... <laughs> Okay, so you guys saw the video yourselves. Now, I've watched the entire thing, and I even looked at it. Um, this video that Gamer Nexus pretty much put out really focused really on the 120 FPS. I mean, it really tells you in the title itself. And, of course, in no surprising fashion, this right here caused a little bit of a stir in the community where people are like, oh, my God, it can't do this because, you know, that or... They're showing off screenshots for these games, saying these games are like that and vice versa. Now, again, to everybody who's talking about Digital Foundry and comparing that to Gamers Nexus, these are two different type of tests here. See, that's the thing about this time around when it comes to PlayStation 5 xbox series x and pc there are three modes you're more likely going to see tests for when it comes to these games you're going to have the performance mode which is more likely the 60 fps locked at 4k right and then you'll have those um or i'm sorry not the 60 fps but the 60 and 120 modes and then you'll have like the resolution modes, etc etc for these consoles comparing that to the pc versions this is the big, you know, change from PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Xbox One and PlayStation 4 were already outdated before they hit the market in general. So looking at this, again, I already knew we were going to get into this type of territory because, you know, they really want to see what's in these boxes and how they go. But PlayStation 5, from what I'm looking at here, they're saying that the PlayStation 5, this is courtesy from Gamer Nexus, obviously. Um, they're talking about the 120 FPS mode comparing that to other pc games now the one particular game that they compared this to was dirt 5 and even in the dirt 5 demo it looks fine right but they said image quality dipped in order to maintain the frames in certain key aspects again this shouldn't be a surprise to any of us on the console side because these are closed in platforms what you get is what you get out the box versus pc which is open and modular where you can do whatever you need to do to get those you know games to run the best they possibly can you see what i'm saying whatever it, it's really up to you at the end of the day how much you're um how much you want out of a pc because it comes down to how much you're willing to put into the actual pc and again that's just how it works. It's the law of the jungle. So when I see PlayStation 5 in this situation, again, no surprise there. Now, they compared the PlayStation 5 to a 1060. Now, the reason why they did that is because a 1060 can do 120 FPS at around 1080p. Um, not all games, if I'm not mistaken, not all games can do that, but that's what they're basically saying in terms of the actual graphics prowess of the 120 FPS mode, and that was for Dirt 5. Now, to add a little bit more credits to this, if you guys go back to Call of Duty, remember how they said Call of Duty is 1440p 120 FPS? If you look at the fine details of that and deeper analysis of that, it's actually running at 1200p. 1200p is pretty much 1080p. So that's where again that adds a little credit but here's where a lot of people are kind of getting misconstrued here and again i kind of wish gamer nexus would have went a little bit more in depth and showed the other side of this particular situation when it comes to what ps5 and series x can offer um there have been numerous tests so again i don't know why people are so bent out of shape over this maybe just like oh we want bragging rights but when you go to the other side of the spectrum of the argument and you look what's offered, the PlayStation 5 has been compared numerous times to the performance of a 2070 
2060 and 2080 by Digital Foundry. It's been numerous videos on this, and PS5 has done respectively well in these regards. I mean, here it is on the screen. It's done respectively well for the most part. I'm just saying, you're getting a lot for what's being offered here. Now, I do, this is where my little bit of criticism goes to Gamer Nexus. I don't know why he said this is a system from five years ago. But that's really a bold claim and a very inaccurate claim. These systems are doing ray tracing for God's sakes. That is one of the newest features here. The newer consoles are actually up to date this time around with what, you know, modern PC gaming is doing right now. They're actually with the times. They're not doing insane levels of performance, right? They're not running the more higher end cards or nothing like that. Absolutely not, of course, because we're not paying $800, $900 for these builds. We're not doing that. But I'm saying you're getting at least the basics, you know, the bare minimum for these newer end cards that are on the market right now. And granted, when, you know, the console generation gets further down the road, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a pro version for both. And you're probably going to get even more out of the box. But you're getting a good value for $500 for PlayStation 5 and for Xbox Series X. You're getting a lot for the most part out of these systems. You're getting options for performance mode and you have the first party that cannot be competed. You know, that, that's, that really can't be refuted for the consoles in general. So, you know, I don't, I don't get it. But looking at the, you know, again, the situation, I, <laughs> I already know people are going to act weird over this. So it is what it is. But honestly, again. I don't think this video was meant to downplay PS5. It was really just take a deeper look at the 120 FPS. To the people who are really getting bent out of shape on this, do not. They were looking at the 120 FPS mode under a big microscope and seeing what the system can do in those extreme situations. Comparing that to PlayStation 5, you know, to PC, you know, I'm sorry. Comparing that to, you know, everything else PS5 offers. Again, we know PS5 can offer much more, and that goes for Xbox Series X as well. So, there you guys go, alright? But again, if you want me to end this video by saying this, I might as well say it again. Remember how I said before, welcome to the post-4K era, people. They don't need to do XYZ to give you an insane image. Remember how I said that? They don't have to give you 4K. They can give you a 1440p image and make it look 4K and give you double the what? The performance. We've talked about this numerous times. There are tons of videos on this channel for it. Well, more likely two on this channel that I personally talked about. But again, we broke this stuff down in advance. And so, like I said before, I warned you. I told you so. And I remain consistent once again on what I said. But hey, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Sound off. And uh, let me know. I'll see you guys on the next one. You guys be blessed. Y'all be easy. And until next time, yes, we'll be back tomorrow for RGT Podcast. So can't wait to do that. Oh, and to the people who might look at me weird in this video, say that you don't have a PC and know what you're talking about. I actually show my PC on this channel numerous times on the RGT Podcast. I've been on camera plenty of times showcasing this rig. Uh, I know what I'm talking about here. So it's a little quick little disclaimer there. But anyway, besides that. Y'all be good. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be, be easy. I'm out of here.